Bracing for scoliosis has is, is really been the main treatment uh, for 70 plus years for, for idiopathic scoliosis that's non-operative. It's a, a kind of treatment uh, that hopefully keeps a curve the same and keeps it from getting worse while a patient is in their active growth phase. There have been lots of studies looking at uh, scoliosis bracing in the past, but the problem is they all were flawed or at least inadequate in in their methodology, I'd say one of the simplest issues that was problematic in all of those was compliance, knowing whether or not the families were really wearing the brace. The brace study included, uh, and, and most of the newer studies now include heat monitors to try to tell you how much patients are actually wearing the brace. By the fact that we're able to judge the intervention and confirm that the intervention is actually done, the data is far stronger. The brace study was a, a real game-changing study. Uh, the study has shown that bracing works. Uh, the study was actually stopped short by their, uh, their safety board. And uh, what they found was that the data was so convincing that bracing leads to a successful outcome uh, that they felt that they could no longer participate with the, or no longer continue with the study. What it showed was that uh, people who wore the brace, uh, especially those that wore it 12 hours or more, had a high likelihood of success uh, as defined as a curve that didn't progress to more than 50 degrees and those that were followed with watchful waiting, previously considered a safe, reasonable treatment alternative, uh, had a lower rate of success, around 48%. And based on that difference, they, they thought the study should be stopped and, the, and that it basically proved its point uh, that bracing is effective. Bracing has been used for a long time, like I said, but the data wasn't very good to support it and, and a lot of clinicians didn't necessarily believe that, that it worked. Uh, so to some degree, we wouldn't maybe, that lack of enthusiasm would carry over to the patients and the families, and maybe the compliance wasn't as, as emphasized as it should be. Um, now that we have a study with good methodology and, and good data to indicate that bracing works, I think it leads us all to really redouble our efforts with how we counsel patients and, and emphasize that, you know, you wear the brace and you truly will decrease your risk of worsening uh, worsening curve and uh, and that's worth a lot. Um, we're not just guessing with what we're doing anymore. The physician needs to know uh, that scoliosis bracing has been around uh, for a long time but that the support for it is is significantly improved now with, with recent studies and it uh, tells us that uh, the kids that are at risk for worsening curves during their growth spurt curves in the 20 to 40 degree range ought to be braced or at least counseled as to that option and that it can help decrease their risk of a curve worsening and potentially needing surgery down the road.